This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we are going to show you how to create a RAID 0 or a RAID 1 configuration using a SAS 5 IR RAID controller and a PowerEdge 840 server. Um, so if you've never been to GreenPCGamers.com, you should definitely check it out. Uh, in the description of this video, we are going to post our PowerEdge 840 parts guide uh, that will give you the part numbers to pretty much every component you can think of in a PowerEdge 840 server. Uh, we will also post videos on, on, on how to install almost every one of these components. So check this page out, uh, bookmark it, and you know keep it as long as you uh, or keep it available as long as you're gonna you plan to keep your PowerEdge 840 in production. Um, so let's get to our RAID configurations. Um, before we uh, go through the RAID utilities, uh, we are going to tell you a little bit about the SAS 5 IR uh, SAS 5 IR controller. Um, it supports RAID 0 or 1. Um, it has a PCIe X4 interface. It's three gigabit per second throughput, and it's compatible with SAS or SATA 2 hard drives. You just can't mix them per RAID configuration. So you can do, uh, for example, either two SAS drives um, in a RAID 1 or two SATA drives in a RAID 1. All right, so what is RAID 0 or 1? And, and that you know those are the two configurations that you can actually use with this controller. Uh, RAID 0 is basically... Uh, combining two drives together. So if you have two 300 gig drives, um, it's going to show up as uh, right around 600 gig if you put it in a RAID 0. That's how the operating system is going to recognize it. If you if you do a RAID 1, which is the most common way um, you would configure drives in a PowerEdge 840, uh, that would be mirroring, um, and that would be recommended for this server. So uh, basically, that would uh, you would mirror one drive to the other. So if you had two 300 gig drives, it's going to show up as one drive, and it's going to be about 300 gig native um, backed up. So you actually have a little bit of redundancy. One drive can fail and your system can still boot. So that would be the recommended configuration if you haven't decided on what RAID that you want to run on your uh, on your PowerEdge server. All right, so we are going to open up into post. So we see our SAS 5i host adapter. Uh, we're going to hit Control C because that's going to allow us to enter that RAID utility. And then once we are in there, we can actually configure our RAID. So first we're going to create a RAID 0, which again, there's zero redundancy, um, but that'll basically combine two of our drives together. So hit enter on RAID properties and go to create IS volume. All right, so you can arrow over to where it says RAID disks and hit spacebar on each disk. That, that's how you select the drives. And then you'll hit C to create the array. And then you'll hit Save Changes. Hit F3 to commit to the RAID configuration. And there you go. You've created RAID 0. So we're just going to go and verify. We'll go back into RAID Properties. View Existing Array. Manage Array. And we see that everything is optimal. So RAID 0 has been created. We have just under 600 gig available. No redundancy. All right, so here's RAID 1. Go into RAID Properties. You're going to hit Enter on Create IM Volume. Arrow over to RAID Disk to hit Spacebar to, make, to say Yes for each disk for primary and secondary. Then hit C to create your array. And then you'll save changes. Hit F3 to commit to the RAID configuration. And then you've created your RAID 1. Now we'll go back into RAID properties and just verify, uh, view the existing array, and make sure that everything's working perfectly. So that worked perfectly. We have half of our, you know, we have two 300 gig drives installed. Um, so we now have about 285 gig usable for our operating system. So this would be the recommended configuration, which would be RAID 1. Um, so you at least have some redundancy in your server. Um, and uh, and once you do that, you're ready to load your operating system. Um, so hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, and again, check out our PowerEdge 840 blog page. Uh, we have posted the description um, or we have posted a link in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching.